welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time i'm gonna be doing five different animal print designs that i've been wanting to try for a bit now even though i've always done cow print you know these are going to be a little bit different so these are the colors that i'm using perfect white perfect black trigger tree gimme pie um jungle whatever that was and then fifth avenue all of those are by madam glam of course and i do have a promo code for them but the first thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and just do one coat of each color now i'm only gonna be doing one coat just for this video again that was perfect white but because the coverage is so good i didn't want to have to you know make this video any longer so after i seen that the one coat was good enough that's why i just decided to do one coat but as i was stating um before that these are gonna be a little bit different because usually i just do like regular animal prints but this is gonna be to where it the animal print is kind of textured because I'm going to be doing like the um, clear acrylic over the gel polish, if that makes sense. So you will see what I'm going to be doing. But again, these are all by Madam Glam. My promo code for them is Get Nailed. Um, as you guys know, I just love their gel polishes. They go on really, really good. And obviously, as you can see, the coverage is absolutely flawless. It looked good enough for me to just do one coat and keep it pushing. Um, so we're going to do one coat of each color. Um, I am going to be... I mean, one's going to be the cow print, one's going to be the zebra, and then one is going to kind of be, it's supposed to be like a giraffe, so I guess that's what it's going to be, and then one is going to be the alligator print, and I think this one's going to end up being the alligator print as well. I think the last two, I'm just going to be kind of freestyling, just something that I've been tr wanting to try out for a minute, but really the ones that I really wanted to do are going to be the first three which are going to be the cow print the zebra and the little giraffe print but anyways after we did the first coat i'm going to go ahead and cure all of them for 30 seconds and like i said i only did one coat so now i'm going in with a top coat now because i'm going to be doing the textured look you know of course at the end we don't want to go in and do a top coat over the entire thing because then it would take away from that textured look so you do your top coat before so after you do your two coats of of gel polish then you would go in with your top coat which i'm using the madame glam no wipe top coat which is what you want to use you don't want to use anything that has a sticky um residue to it because you don't want the acrylic powder to get stuck to it once we get to the next step um so after we do the top coat we're going to be curing for 60 seconds but before we do that we're going to do this color which is the fifth avenue over this one which is the give me pie and i'm doing a really really thin coat y'all like i'm literally brushing it on to where it's barely anything on the brush as you guys can see i want it to be like y'all so thin um this uh the nail is going to be kind of like the alligator look that i've been seeing around and this would be my first time trying it out so i just went ahead and flash cure cured it for one second to where it kind of thickens up just a little bit but it's not dry at all and then with my dotting tool i'm just gonna go in and kind of just draw the line so just drew two lines um going down the nail and then i'm just gonna go in and draw some lines going across the nail as you can see they don't have to be straight i'm kind of wiggling my um dotting tool as i'm going and then i'm just going to continue to outline those lines that way you know we have that little space in between each line and you're able to see the color underneath so you get a little bit of that contrast so um if you feel like your gel polish is a little too wet you can go in and cure like literally y'all one second and take it out and like i said that's just going to thicken up your polish as you can see it kind of dried it just a little bit to where i'm able to work with it just a little bit easier and the gel polish is not running or anything so just going in one more time and outlining those same lines that i draw that i drew sorry and then after that we're gonna go in and then just cure the nail um completely and of course that's going to be for 30 seconds but make sure that you kind of just play with it um it doesn't have to be perfect at all i feel like the more you kind of play with it um the better it looks of course 
um and sorry before i go in and cure i am gonna just outline the little um rectangles because really once we do the lines we make a whole bunch of little rectangles so i'm just gonna go in and kind of just outline them now as you can see this is not perfect by any means um i did not want to make this video super super long but you kind of get the concept and this was my very first time ever trying this design and i think i got overly excited and i really just wanted to see the final look y'all i don't know why i get like that but once we finish doing this then that's when we're going to cure and then i am going to go in with that same color that i did underneath so i'm just going to cure that for 30 seconds and then the next color that i'm going to go in is with that give me pie i think it's give me pie yeah i forgot but you guys seen the names of the gel polishes at the beginning um but i'm just gonna go in and those little triangles that i kind of cut out in the middle or not triangles y'all but um rectangles that i outline in the middle i'm gonna go in and just fill those in and y'all i actually ended up really really liking this nail it reminds me of a belt that my dad had that was like that alligator um skin or whatever and it was the same color like different shades of orange so that's what it reminded me of but again we're just going in and doing this and i definitely suggest that if you're doing this design that you use a dotting tool um you won't be able to get the same effect if you use a brush especially when you're first going in and doing your lines Okay, y'all, so I'm actually liking how it's turning out. It actually looked really, really good. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and cure this for 30 seconds. And then we're going to go ahead after that and start on the other prints. So that's what it looked like. So now we're going to go in with the black, which is the perfect black by madam glam and with that same dotting tool we're gonna go in and just draw the spots just make sure that when you're doing these you don't do too many of them and then just alternate in sizes you know do some a little bit small some bigger and like i said just scatter them throughout the nail and remember that we've already done the top coat on the white so we're just applying this over that top coat of course we've already cured and then after that, we're going to go in with the JC Beauty Concepts um, Clear Acrylic. And we're just going to sprinkle that over the top of the nail. Now, you don't have to do this if you just want to do a regular, you know, cow print, cow print nail. Then, of course, you would do your two coats of your white, your black cow print, and then your top coat. But since I'm doing like the textured look, um, that's why I did the coat of the gel polish the top coat and then the black and then the acrylic and i just wanted to try it out because i think that it would be really pretty because it'll give us almost like a velvet um yeah like a velvet look so i'm just using my cuticle pusher to pick up the acrylic and just pouring it over the top of the nail just like that and then after that we're gonna cure for um 30 seconds and we're going to do the same thing on the next nail except for the next one is going to be a zebra print so i'm using my small marble nail art brush um this one actually comes in a set of three and i just absolutely love these little small brushes they work really well for me and those are the ones that i use for all of my nail art of course they will be back on my website here soon so if you guys don't follow me on instagram be sure to go follow me now at get nail 32 because that's usually where i post about my website where i post on here too but i post on instagram first and you definitely don't want to miss out i do plan on relaunching my website at the end of this month if not definitely by february 1st no later than february 1st for sure um but anyways for this zebra print as you can see i'm literally just randomly going in there and drawing the lines when you're doing this you don't want to just draw straight lines you kind of want to wiggle your brush around as you're doing this that way 
you get that zebra effect of course zebras don't just have straight lines on them you know they're kind of just all over the place and then also i like to do some of them to where they kind of look like a little triangle i just really really like those and it kind of just helps me with switching the direction of the zebra prints that way they're not just you know going all the same way but after we finish doing all of the lines we're going to do the same thing we're just going to go in and uh sprinkle the glitter or not the glitter y'all the uh, acrylic over the top of the nail and also i mean you can definitely do the same technique with glitter you know depending on what design you're doing um it would basically be the same thing um next we're going to go in with this one which we're going to be using the color um give me pie and this one is supposed to be the one that's like the zebra print so we have the color uh, fifth avenue underneath and then we're just doing the um give me pie color on top and as you can see we're kind of just doing like different shapes mostly like little squares and rectangles of course they don't all have to be the same size and then really this one kind of reminded me of the alligator print as well um i guess this could be a diff another technique or a different way of doing the alligator look if you wanted to but it's really supposed to be a zebra not zebra y'all but um the giraffe y'all look it's late it's what 10 38 i'm supposed to be in bed right now but i had to get this video out to you guys um right there as you guys seen i did get two of the little shapes um or they were touching so i just used my little small cleanup brush which will also be on my website and i just dipped it in a little bit of acetone and wiped that right off and then went ahead and redrew it um so we're just going to continue to do this over the entire nail so again doing the bigger triangle on in the yeah i don't know why i keep saying triangle doing the bigger rectangle in the middle and then doing kind of like a little square almost like a little dot on the side just making sure that you know i'm able to fit it all in and then i was starting to like make them a little bit smaller of course as we went down the nail um but after we finish doing this we're going to move on to the next one and then for the next nail i am going to be using my madam glam um gel base coat so just to let you guys know or just so i don't forget to mention it Alrighty, so after we finish applying the color, we're going to go in and do the same thing, just pouring the clear acrylic over the entire nail. And of course, the, the powder is only going to stick to the orange part because the yellow is already cured. But now we're going to go in with this navy blue color and I'm going to go in with my Madame Glam base coat. We're going to do the base coat over the entire nail. And y'all, if I would have known that I was going to do this design on this nail, then of course, I would have just did the gel polish and then the base coat instead of doing a top coat first um so i'm just gonna go in and while the base coat is still wet i'm just gonna go in and basically do the exact same thing that we just did on the last nail except for we're applying this color over the wet um base coat that way um the the blue color that i'm applying right now is going to kind of spread um out a little bit um i don't know what this technique is called honestly um i know some people use the blooming gel underneath which causes the um gel polish to kind of spread a little bit more but i just used a gel base coat for this which worked perfectly um so this was my first time trying this out as well i've seen it a few times and honestly i think it's actually really pretty um i like how it looked with these two colors but i'm pretty sure it would look really cute as well if we did like the two like that orange and that yellow that would have been really cute as well um maybe a black and a blue would be really cute um so definitely we'll be trying this out again but also make sure that whenever you apply the base coat that you don't apply too much because as you guys see i did a thin coat of the base coat and then the 
the color that I'm applying now is still moving like really quickly and spreading out. But like I said, I think it's actually really pretty. It reminds me of this one Louis Vuitton purse that um, they have on their website. It's like $30,000, y'all. But it's like a blue crocodile print. And it's really cute. But now we're going to go ahead and cure all of those for um, 30 seconds and then we're going to go in and I'm only going to be applying the top coat on the last two nails because the first three we're going to keep like that because of course we want it to give us that 3D um, look with the um, with the prints on top of course and then with this one I didn't want to apply too much top coat because this one also had kind of like a 3D look to it so I just applied a little bit of top coat and kind of tried to wipe a little bit away but anyways um here is how they turned out as you can see they look really really good again these are the colors that I used all by Madam Glam and you guys know that I just absolutely love their gel polishes here is a closer look so we have the cat print the zebra print print the supposed to be giraffe print and then the last two are like supposed to be the alligator prints be sure to let me know what you guys think about these five designs um here is a closer look of the gel polish that i used so again we have the midnight forest jungle beat um y'all i've look look y'all seen the colors but anyways as always i hope you guys enjoyed as always don't forget to follow me on instagram be sure to like subscribe and hit the little bell so you are notified every time that i post